Robo Beast here doing another install today. Today we're doing a big three upgrade on the Toyota Foreigner. Commonly, when you add aftermarket components that draw extra current from your car's electrical system, you may experience either dimming lights or um, low voltage in certain areas of the car. So the way to combat that is to do a big three upgrade. And what that means is we upgrade the connection or the wire between the positive post on the battery terminal to the positive on our alternator. We upgrade number two, the battery negative to our battery ground. And then number three, the ground of the engine to basically the block to the frame as well. Now that effectively upgrades, we're not replacing the wire, we're just adding to it. What I've already started doing is prepping the wire. Now this will be our run between the alternator and the battery. Now this one will be from our battery negative to the, to the ground itself. And I'm still putting together a run between the, our engine block and the body chassis negative. So there's one, two, and then soon enough a third. All right, so what we're gonna do is like we talked, we're gonna upgrade this wire. Now we're just gonna add a wire between our ground here and our negative on our battery terminal. Probably take this off and clean the paint real well so it's even a better connection. All right, all good. Oh, so, there to there, all good to go. That post there is the positive post output from our alternator, which charges the battery. So taking that nut off, we're gonna add another wire, four gauge from there, all the way up to the post on the positive of the battery terminal itself. And again, I have the negative off the battery, so this is safe to loosen. Got my stud on. One of these is for the amplifier. Go ahead and check out that video. I did a four channel amp and a sub, eight inch sub in this. This other one goes down. It fits underneath the factory cap, which is cool. And then over here on the left side of the engine compartment, I found this really good block nut. It doesn't go all the way through the head. This allows us um, to underneath this bracket here, we're gonna slip a ring terminal onto a four gauge wire and run a wiring. And then either ground it here, now these are pretty corroded. This foreigner came from the East Coast. Um, we will clean that off and use one of those studs as our grounding location. Or as you've noticed, I mean, we we'll wanna keep this as short as we can, but there's a, uh, a ground post here. We can also use this one right here. Um, basically taking a wire brush and removing the rust and, and paint so we have a good connection. So there's the ground, all the paint cleaned off. 
And I was actually going for this bolt here, but I realized looking just a bit further, there's a factory ground right there. Unbolted that, it's 10 millimeter. Slipped over a ring terminal with the four gauge connected. And ran it up and over right there because this is a stud in the firewall. Clean the paint off, it's nice and solid. The rust is on the bracket, but the, uh, the actual terminal as it gets clean, uh, metal to metal on the stud itself. So the bracket has nothing to do with it. If you have any questions about this install, this big three upgrade, go ahead and post a comment below. I'm happy to answer any questions in case they come up. Um, again, this is typically if you have voltage drops or low voltage or um, basically if you notice any dimming, if you had an aftermarket amplifier or other lights, this is a great way to fix that issue. Thanks again for watching the channel and we will see you guys in the next video.